Guys, um, what's up? What's going on out there today? Thanks for hanging out with me and Jeff. I am Brent Abel. This is Jeff Jacklich. I'm not sure where he is, but he's somewhere over there. And we are goldballhunting.com. We're actually trying to help players get better. Yeah, crazy I mean, idea. And, and whether you're a league player, a tournament player, or you're that Wednesday night, you know, buddies get together, play singles or doubles, whatever. It's competitive. We know how that goes. And there's always that desire somewhere that, yeah. man, I want to get just a little bit better. And uh, so that's what we're helping tennis players do out there. All skill levels from beginners all the way up through, uh, I guess we don't, Roger has not actually called in yet. Not yet. Yet. But not I, yet. I have a sense that it's coming. Yeah, I just, that's I, coming. Yeah, I, mean, oh, yeah. I, I think he wants to get better and... Uh, Anyway, well, you know, it, it, it probably sometime in the next 20 years, he's going to be into the senior game. <laughs> That's right. That's right. When he when he finally not, hits the, not, when he finally hits yeah. the 60s, he'll be going, you know, I've won 178 tournaments right. and I think I'm tired of this and I want to play some senior ball. Yeah. And uh, so he may, you know, at that point, he may flip straight into pickleball, become the world champion. Right. <laughs> God. Would, well, we just I, don't know yet. I, I, I can't even. I can't respond to that. It's yeah, a, it's and, like, and not a, that we have total. I mean, we look. We 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 love the yeah. pickleball thing, and it's a great sport. And people are getting out there and doing I've all that. It, but, I think it's fun. I mean, I've played it. It's yeah. fun. It's fun. Well, for I mean, right. You know. I mean, for right now, it's just kind of a garden game for me. Kind of a garden right. cocktail game. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. Nothing it's, that, it's nothing that I want to pursue or anything like that. No. Some players have crossed over, and that's cool. And right. they're, they're finding their joy again back on a tennis court. That's right. In some kind of court with a ball, and then that's fantastic. I mean, it's absolutely yeah um, great that you can you know find your find your path. Good, good. Well, yeah. I just a couple, couple more things I want to do in tennis before I before yeah. I do the crossover. So. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us today, Jeff. Um, I got a uh, I got a question for you. And we actually were talking about this before we started our recording recordings today. And the leaf blower guy is uh, doing his Monday morning. Um, can't can't hear him. You're okay. good. Outstanding. Just keep keep yapping. Well, <laughs> when I when he does show up and I'm and I'm yapping away and and there's no. You're, you're yeah. going, you know, uh, I'll, I'll give you the signal. Yeah, I'll right. give you the signal. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> so um, I think that, um, you know, we, we talk a lot about not having variety in your game, uh, that variety is not really a strategy, that sure, there's a million and one different shots that you might think you can pull out of your toolbox. And so we're really encouraging players, look, get realistic about – about what your strengths are, get realistic about what your weaknesses are, but really look more at your strengths. What kind of a game plan could you kind of formulate and, 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 and then actually be able to deploy with, with the tools that you actually possess? And one of the things that you and I were talking about earlier today was I think sometimes players look at other guys or other gals who might be a rating label or two higher. Right. And they start looking at these guys, well, okay, so he or she is doing that, then that's what I'm going to do. And right. they try to deploy that that game plan, and they don't have the tools to do it. Right. So what's your, what's your recommendation in terms of, I mean, do you like to look at the toolbox first? And then say, all right, well, based on what is in there, and again, the toolbox, you have to put it into different groupings. Group right. number one is you can actually do these things nine out of ten times. Group number two, maybe three out of ten times. And then group number three is, well, I saw Fed do this on TV against Isner. Right. right. <laughs> Yeah. And that's a long saw, list. That one's a big list in there. Yeah. I saw him not lose a point on his first serve for two sets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do so, that. <laughs> so where do you think someone ought to start? Should they look at their toolbox you know, first and decide, decide? well, here, here are the three shots that I know. Someone sticks a gun to my head. I, I'm, I'm probably going to make this shot. Yeah. And then form a plan off of that. Or do you think... 
you ought to look at your opponents yeah. and see, well, they don't like this, they don't like that. Do I have the tools to be able to exploit those things right. they don't want and then based a game plan off of that? Or is there some other way to figure this game plan thing out? Yeah, great question. Um, and um, yeah, it's it come you know it's a basic it's a basic understanding. Here's um, here's a strategy I've come up with, and am I able to execute it? Do I have the skill set, the toolbox to execute it? Right, right. a very simple right. a very simple idea and format. And so, um, you know, personally, I. I love to come out and be able to deploy my basic strategies. You know, that, that this is the way I want to play the game today. This is how I'd like to do it. Um, I'm playing this player. Um, I'm going to start with that strategy, doing what I do best and the way I like to deploy it and see, if, see how that goes. Um, and many times you can just continue to run that run that strategy and you're fine. Maybe a couple little tweaks along the way. Um, nothing, nothing big and you're fine. But there are those players that the way you play matches up with them perfectly to feed their strengths. So sometimes, um, you know, it, it, both ways can work and both ways can work very effectively. Um, but the key to it is you have to be thoroughly honest with your toolbox. There can't be, any you know pride involved in no 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 I can hit a drop shot off the blah 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 oh no no no, no. I can you know I can it's like you you can't go there because you're going to be depending on that at the most critical time and do you really want to reach into the bag and and like you know pull out the derringer when really it's we need to we need the cannon right now right or or vice versa right so. So one way to do it is this, is that you you go ahead and look at a player and you devise a strategy. I think this type of strategy would, would be able to beat this type of player. So then you take that and then you open up your toolbox. And you go or or you or you or you know you you look at the strategy and you say, these are the tools it's gonna take to do that. And then you gotta look at your toolbox and say, I'm missing something here. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't still use that strategy. It just means that you're going to have to shuffle the deck a little bit as to what tools you're going to use to still deploy that strategy and make it happen. So it's not a, it's not an all is lost framework um, if you don't have this complete skill set to deploy any specific strategy. You can you can make things happen even if you don't have all five tools. You know, I've got three and a half. Great. We can still do this. We're just going to have to tweak it a little bit. Or you go from the other side of it. Here's my skill set, and here's what I'm going to try and build to play this player. I tend to look at it the other way. I tend to look at it and kind of go, how should I play this guy? What is it? What is this guy's weaknesses? What's going on there? Here are the things. Here are the, here are the places i got to get the ball to, so to, to I know for me to get some opportunities. And so how am I going to do that with what I have? How am I going to do that with my skill set? So that's kind of the way I approach it personally. Yeah, there's uh, um, so the 60 hard courts were played here last week. Glenn Busby from Australia, arguably the number one player in right. the world in his age group. He just ran away with the thing. I mean, he just and, – and you could see in the semis uh, he played uh, Mike Federley. And Mike yeah. Federley is more of a, a, a toppy, kind of a, kind of a big right. shape, especially on his forehand. And that was his – that was that – was, his game plan. Well, I've got to go ahead and just get it deeper and deeper and higher and higher. And it didn't, and you know, Glenn Busby's not a tall guy. He's probably maybe five, eight. He's a right. short little fire plug of a dude. And, and, <clears throat> but he's got the skill set to be able to take the high bouncer and either step in if it's a deep one and just roll it back deep neutral or he can play it, he can play about shoulder high with a nice firm slice. So um, he's got all the skills to be able to counter what it is, right. what it is you think that you're going to do. And then, um, and then he played Mike Tammons in, in the finals, and Mike Tammons tried just the opposite. He tried to play underneath 
I tried to play the ball down low, and that was like, are you kidding me? I mean, this is where right. Glenn Busby wants the ball, right? right. And right. so <clears throat> it's, 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 like, it's like you would look at Glenn Busby and you would go, okay, well, the way to beat him would be to would be would be to do what I saw Rafa do against uh, you know Fed a couple of years ago. Okay, so not going to work. Right. Not going to work. You don't right. have that. I mean, you can't look in your toolbox and go, you know. It's, it's not tangible. It's not it, tangible. There's nothing right. in the box that actually reflects that you can actually deploy that strategy, or at least even that one shot. That's right. You, you know that you're thinking that this is the type of ball that's going to actually open up the point for me. Um, well, do you have that? If you don't, quit crying about it, quit thinking about it, quit thinking about it, move on, move on. Like what's in your box? Okay, we just had a lot of static, so why don't you repeat that? And you said, and, and you look in your toolbox and you go, do I have that? You know, yeah, do I have that? And the answer is no, so, so move on. Yeah. There's no, I, I'm, I, you know, I get, um, I have, let's say my tolerance level for, beating a dead horse and talking about like a, a something a strategy or something that isn't even on the table that's great but guess what the match is tomorrow you're not getting that tool tomorrow by tonight there's no you can't go down to home depot and order it tonight and learn how to use it it ain't happening well, wait a minute if you got amazon prime it'll show up in 48 hours Right, it'll show up at the court when you're ready to play, right? So it'll be dropped down there with a little drone and here here here, here Jeff, here's the Yeah. So you know, I think you know, and God, so, this could so, really so like I mean yeah, so ahead. what I would say is like um, I would look at Glenn Busby <clears throat> and I would say if I gotta play the guy, I I can't even think of a strategy that I've got. Or I can't even think of another strategy of a guy who's sixty plus years old would have other than someone who does what he does even better. Right. And since he's number one in the world in that age group, I guess there isn't anybody, right? I mean, you would have to go <laughs> down, you would have to go down an age group or two to find someone right. who brings more power, right? right. Is bigger, faster. Bigger serve. Yeah. Bigger serve. Bigger. Everything's bigger, right? Right. Um, is faster. And this guy, whew, Drop shot? Oh my word! I mean, <laughs> he's he's hitting droppers that are you know literally kind of bouncing back towards the net. I mean, they're just nice, nasty, and and like he maybe missed one in last week. I don't know. Uh, it's just crazy. So so my thing would be if I don't if I'm not that guy who's a couple of age groups younger where I've got the game, then really all I can hope to do. Is to is to just not miss. Make the guy hit winners. Right. Make him hit winners, and maybe hope he, he trips and falls. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, but I think that I think that we we mistakenly look at some guy. And we go, well, I don't. Uh, okay, I'm being I'm being realistic, Jeff. I, I see that I don't have. First of all, I don't know the strategy to beat this guy. He's so much better than I am. And secondly, I don't have the tools to deal with this guy. So should I even show up and play? And, and the answer is um, there's, there's a, a guy that we know, Brian frame and yeah. great guy from, from Marin. He had to play him. I think the first match and I saw him before the first match and, and I said, Hey Brian, what's going on? Who do you have? I said, I got Glenn Busby. And I said, beautiful. He goes, what are you talking about? I'm not going to win a game. And I said, well, you might not, but at least you get to feel what this level is like. Sorry, I'm spitting right. on you here. Um, you get to feel what this level is like. And if nothing else, it's going to be awesome just to see what some other human can do within your age group. And, yeah. and it, may, uh, it may spark an interest somewhere. It may spark a thing going, uh, well, God, he's doing something that I, I can actually do that thing that I saw him do that won a bunch of points. Right. So right. there you have yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you learn, I mean, are you, are you open to that process and the learning process and what can you glean from that player that just kicked your ass? Isn't, isn't that, you know, the process is, is that you, you figure it out, you know, and, and, and you learn something. Wow. The guy really used that slice backhand a little differently than I've, than I've seen before or, Wow, uh, it was really great actually to, to get 
uh, he, he kicked my ass, but you know what? He hit such a clean ball. It was really nice to like to be able to have a clean ball every time. Yeah. I don't, you know, there's so many different thought processes that you can glean and, and benefit from those matches. I mean, it is, you know, it hurts our ego and our pride on the one hand, because we want to compete and we want to, we want to do well. And we'd like to at least feel like we made the guys sweat. Right. Um, but on the but on the other hand, once you know, if you can give that a 24 hour rest after the match is over and get beyond yourself and then kind of look at it and go, wow, you know what? I'm going to watch this guy play a little bit more because there's right. there's something else going on there that maybe right. I didn't quite catch and yeah. I didn't quite see and I think there's something to learn, you know. So, cool. Um, and that's the biggest part of the process, I think, is is allowing. Are you are you have to be the consummate student? You're, you you have to always be interested in something beyond you know your game and is there something that that guy's doing that i'm actually i'm actually kind of close to be able to do and i never thought about that you know and and so Good. i don't know i Good. think that's for me the joy of it is always like learning something you know Good. Good. yeah no I, I i i totally agree and and just by watching the guy play i mean i really learned some things and it, it's always coming down to who really, uh, who who really is hitting the ball clean? Who's not fighting the ball? Right. Um, who's not overcooking shots? Who's who's got swing speeds that are under control? Um, and who's pulling the trigger at the right time? And and with him, I mean, he would just he would just kind of like we talk about. He'd go to big targets offensively to big targets right? and he, and then he could see I've inflicted a, this much pain. I have the guy stretched out or he's backing in and he's quick enough to just move on in and just dump the folly into the in the short in the open court. It's like ho-hum yeah. and it just looks so easy. And so, uh, but we did get a little off topic here about, about game plan and <laughs> toolbox and all that kind of stuff, but it's uh, uh, all good. So listen guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, we really appreciate that. And again, if you want to get any, a short 10 minute free private coaching call with me and Jeff, bring that one thing in your game right now that you're just struggling with. And you know, it's in you, you know, if you had something, if, if we could put you on the path that, um, that you might be able to get that result you want. The way to do that, go to goldballhunting.com first name, email address, and you'll get immediate access to our online scheduler. And, uh, Jeff, at this point, um, the microphone is yours. Woo. <laughs> oh, that's me. Yeah. Like us. <laughs> Share us. Because there was a moment Please when I was yakking there where, where you were just frozen in time and I was going, he's either really into this like, or we have, we yeah. have, where we have buffering going on. So I think it was buffering. Um, I think so. Yes. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I wasn't glazing over because you were still talking. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, and, <laughs> the, look, <clears throat> the look was kind of like, oh, God, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Really? <laughs> um, so, yeah, please like us, share us, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think down below. <laughs> God, guys, thanks for hanging out with us and lasting this long in today's episode with us. Get out there today. Help someone else have a spectacular day. Jeff will do this again tomorrow, I sure hope. I, I think we're gonna, even if I, you know, I think I have to now. Yeah, <laughs> you're totally locked in. <laughs>